Welcome back. This is 2 Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. So a South African dad paid his daughter 20 rands for washing dishes. When she went to bed, he stole it. For what? To teach her that the crime rate in the country is high. And yeah, and he also went on to say that he would help her find the money in the morning when she's looking for it, you know, as a nice dad and stuff. You get so what's your take on this? Because I think some lessons are meant to be taught the hard way. Yeah. Yeah. So he gave her 20 rands. rands. That's like 500 naira. Mm -hmm. And then he, he stole the money from her while she was asleep. Mm -hmm. And then he says, what? Why did he do that? Because the crime rate, he has to learn that the crime rate in the country is that. He says she's, she's lucky he didn't rub her on, on her way to the room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you understand? Like, he okay. should have just rubbed her. Like. So that simply means he's trying to let her understand, yeah, the crime rate. So you have to be very careful mm -hmm. the way you keep your things like uh, you have something you have to like protect it like mm -hmm. hold it very tight because i mean you can just have it this minute and the next minute it's because it, she could learn gone. the other way you know because if she's out there on the street and she feels like yeah and yeah it easy. comes easy exactly. you get like somebody else would just do it the harder way probably point a gun to out of head or something but because i i went to the bank yesterday i went to get some you know change and then this guy came in and he had like well-spoken guy but this guy can't call it like five thousand dollars thereabout and this well-spoken but this guy dressed down he wore his shorts wore some, some nasty t-shirt then come busy. that way i want to rob that kind exactly. of person but imagine the guy came and he was like looking all fly he could boing, just be walking out he's just walking out the bank and somebody just wants to rob him so in my head i was like people shop people they package we could not say this guy get money <laughs> do you get what i mean yeah yeah so i think i think it's a good lesson i think yeah, some lessons should is. be taught the hard way and i think yes that's that's all right that's all right but well, the part where he said he's still going to help her look for look the money. Look for money. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's really nice. Yeah, that's sweet. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, so a father will always be a father now. Mm. Regardless, you always still be a father. You exactly. get me? Yeah. So I think I think that's really commendable. So yes, you know, let's keep teaching our kids, you know, how to go about things the right way so that they don't learn the other way, you get me? So just keep teaching them. Sometimes it may be ash, because I know sometimes my dad would tell me to do certain things well, and I'll be like, what? Some, some people really, sometimes, some parents go over the board with being, being too harsh or to, to pass this message or to mm. teach their child. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes in the, in the process of doing that, they even make things like, they, they harder exactly you, mm -hmm. you make that child do what the child does, doesn't, doesn't want, want to, yeah. to do at all so i feel like they have to watch it when mm -hmm. they are True. um True. doing these things because i remember <laughs> having um okay let me use my dad as an example mm -hmm. he would always like they never used to let me out of the mm -hmm. house growing up i would always be in the house and i had friends then and their parents were so free with them to let them go out and also one time um i got to talk to my dad i don't really talk to my dad so i got to talk to my dad and i Too mentioned late? it no we talk but like i can't sit with my dad and just oh yeah like just just do it i'll sit with my mom mm -hmm. and just just so uh has that, that day, affected you in any way mm, yes it has because sometimes when i see people girls and the way they um you know like play with their dad and i'm like why why why, why? does that affect right? your relationship with older men like when you're with like a boss or something does it make you want to be extra you know respectful and you feel like i can't really talk to this no. person no it didn't because i was going to get to the part where i finally got to speak to my dad and then mm -hmm. he made it um understandable for me why he's he like, that. like that oh, so yeah. i'm like okay and then i started seeing the reasons though but like my other friend that had that was that strict she went it led her into so many bad things mm. so that's what i'm seeing that so how can you stay to... good what's your what's, what's, what's the source of your sanity it's god's grace plus the fact that i wanted to prove to him that i could be this but i chose to be this because mm. I want to make you proud. Mm. Yeah. Nice. I hope daddy you're proud now, right? You're proud now. Oh, he's proud. He's proud. Yeah, he's very proud, proud dad. <laughs> All right, so you're telling us a story. Remember that your dad, yeah. 
you're telling us a story. Yeah, um, I think I'm done with the story. So I remember my dad, I had a conversation with him, so I asked him, why are you so mean? Like, why, why can't you let me out? Like, so what was his reason, though? Yeah, he's what like, he's, this is what he said. He said, I can let you out, but the result that comes out from letting you out with those people, mm. I will suffer it and you will suffer it. Mm. So I keep thinking about that every time. I'm like, okay, it's not like he doesn't want me out. But he doesn't want me out with these people at this time. Mm. So I don't suffer it. And he also doesn't suffer. So now that you're alone, do you go out? Do you like... I've, I've, I've actually um, cultivated that style. Like from mm. while I was in school, I never used to go out. Not like I don't go out, but you would never see me in the parties or this um, mm -hmm. hostel party. And mm -hmm. nah, you never see me there. I'm very, very mindful. What school did you attend? In most state university. Okay, I'm so, so yeah, you know, I'm, I grew a lot in that school. Mm -hmm. So um, you never like once it's like six p.m., six thirty, I'm making my way home. Like mm -hmm. I can't be out, it's getting late. And my friends are like, "Calm down." I'm like, ah, "It's late already. I can't be out." So growing up after school, moving down to Lagos, living by myself, all of that. So I still see myself behave that way. Like mm -hmm. I don't stay out late. So I still. Um, Put out that same behavior and that's really a good thing i must say thank you daddy. amazing amazing <laughs> thank you daddy thank you daddy for raising a queen all right so moving on nigerian dancer jaymina has disclosed the way she deals with ladies who try to get involved with her husband according to her she said if you text him she, she, that means he gave you his number right if you chat with him and responds politely that means he wants to talk to you so it she doesn't really have a problem with the woman but a man was given room for that do you think a lot of ladies should emulate that because we've seen instances where you know you see a wife going to the mall to go disgrace to go disgrace the side chick yeah. because she feels like ah oh, she's the one chasing after a man but what about the men a lot of people don't think it's the man who is giving room for that do you understand? Wow, yeah. I watched the movie over the weekend. It's actually a Nigerian movie. And this lady, because her husband had a particular, you know, some of us, we just like to buy things in a particular place, right? Yeah. Like if, I'm, if your um, customer service is on point, yeah, I will always come, come back. back. Do you understand? Regardless of who it is, whether it's a man or a woman, if your customer service is good, if I walk into your store and you treat me nicely, of course I'll come back. Yeah. So this man was always buying, even before his provision runs out, is back there to buy just because he enjoys the customer service and he had nothing to do with the woman. But okay. the wife was like, ah, provision are not finished. You're buying another one. Then as she started hearing talks like, ah, your husband is sleeping with this and she went there, you know, disgraced the woman and all of that. So in my head, I'm like, shouldn't she be having a conversation with your husband mm, exactly. instead of going to that woman so i think this is very mature but of course if you know jamina you know why she has to be like this because <laughs> she by herself i post alone she's cheating on a man <laughs> really i'm just saying i'm just okay. i'm just teasing okay i said i post alone come on do you know what the thoughts jane makes you have in your head i'm not level? a man I'm, I'm, that's what oh, I'm, so I'm explaining really, okay, to you. Okay. Do you know the things you think about when she dances? Do you know the type of ex exotic dance she does? That's it. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. So yeah. you're among the people that when you see her video, your head goes gaga. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm just saying, I know guys who you get me. Yes, yeah, so we, 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 we like to see one on one. No, mm. not, yeah, not okay. Instagram video. Nice. <laughs> Isn't it <Okay. nice? laughs> <laughs> So, um, I think you already said it all. I mean, like, why would the woman um, go after the girl mm -hmm. in question? What she said is right. I would always stand with her. So, if you, if he gave you or he took your number and you say hi and he responds, I mean, he wants the conversation to go mm. on. Um, I've heard people say that because I actually coach people, though. Mm. I coach people in relationships. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So I, I have heard... relationship problems. It's fine. Can we after talk the show. After the show? After, uh, All right, cool. Will you not, charge it, me? Of course. I don't have money. <laughs> I'm very broke. You can't be here and say you don't have money. I'm very, very broke. It's fine. We'll, we'll walk around it. Don't worry. Walk around my budget. I'll, I'll bring the price down. I have down. 500 now. No, that's too small. Hello? 1,000 now. No, no, no. Can people be like 10,000? Ah, consider. where do you want to see it from? From your pocket. Ten thousand a whole ten thousand naira. Did you call ten thousand a whole? Ha go on. Okay. You don't understand. So <laughs> <laughs> So I feel like um Jamina, what she said, I would always stand with what she said because mm. 
it's the it's the if I have to if I catch my man, yeah, or if I see whatever something's going on with a girl and a, my man, I'm not going to go after the woman. Mm. I keep telling ladies all the time, you can't be going after the girl in question. She did not tell herself to call herself to call um um uh, call me. She didn't say she didn't tell herself okay call. No, somebody had given the number. There's, there's a conversation going on and he let it happen. He could have said, oh, sorry, please, I can't, I can't do this with you because I'm involved with someone or, oh, sorry, you can't call me at this time I, or I'm involved with... Just, you know, he can, he can avoid that if he wants, but... He chose to. Exactly. So why go after the lady? Mm. Women, some married women, we see videos on the internet, like you see married women mm. go after the girl, pull their hair in the um, supermarket, salon mm. everywhere. Oh, leave my husband. That's, that's sure. really... That's 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 I don't even know. The it's disgraceful, mean. actually. It is. I think it's. Um, At the end of the day, I feel like you're even um, putting yourself. You're showing a reason why. Maybe that's the reason why the man doesn't even want to. Do you get you like? I can remember looking at that video of the woman who went to the mall and was yanking off the other girl's weave, and she was doing all of that. And I'm like, okay, so this type of man obviously doesn't have peace of mind in his home. You're actually that's giving why, more Do you understand? To yeah. even run out there because if you can come outside in public to do that, then imagine what, what you're you doing do inside. inside. Exactly. No. One time I had, um, I was, we was a round table, we we're talking and then someone said, um, the reason why these women go sometimes to, I mean, attack the, the, girls. the girl is because they want to show the man that I can actually do, do this. Do anything for you. No, 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 I can do this. I can actually be this person if you think I cannot do this. They want mm. to show that, um, I'm quiet, yes, I'm, I'm reserved, I respect you, but because you've done this, I will show you that I can do this. Like, mm. they just want to prove a point that they can do this. Some of them go as far as even returning the favor, like cheating as well. Mm. So, <laughs> I feel like those things How do you are react just, to cheating personally? I, I really, I really don't like it. Or Has anyone ever cheated on you? A lot, now. Ah, uh, many a woman. Is it a lot? No? <laughs> <laughs> the way she said it, like, I'm a girl, so many I'm a stories. So, How many relationships have you been yeah, in? Oh, oh. Uh, uh, I'd say three. So, and three of them cheated? <laughs> say it, say it, say it with your chest. They did it. I'm very sure of one of them, like, I don't know if you're watching me anywhere, but you cheated on me so much that yes? I'm going to tell my kids. I'm going to tell my kids wow. about it. Yes. That must be really painful. You didn't share that story. It was really terrible. Share with us. No, I don't want to share it. It's, does it still hurt? No, it doesn't. I, I do counseling. It doesn't, you know. it doesn't. I don't charge so I much. said I... 5,000. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Actually, it doesn't hurt. I've gotten over it. Um, mm. So I can say it. The person cheated mm. on me. I was way too young then, I guess. But then... At what age did you start dating? I started dating, uh, I think I was 20. Okay, fair enough. What? Okay. What were you going to say? No, because, you know, we're having a conversation downstairs and I said, would you let your 30-year-old brother date an 18-year-old girl? Because we had that conversation on this table oh. and they made me look like a pedophile. Like, I'm like, no, yes, 18 of years, 18 years is, is mature. It's legally... You're saying she needs, she's not mentally strong, she doesn't uh, have any please, experience. Please, there are some 18 years that would, that are very, like, they are mentally strong. Yes, I know you can never take away experience. Experience is everything, mm. I know. But then, come on, 18 years in Nigeria, these days? Ah, uh, come on, no. Uh, no. You said these days? Yeah. When you were 18, did you know anything about relationships? I knew a few things, but... I did not like have really, the experience. I, yeah, because I knew I, I got to know about those things from people that were eighteen that had already had the experience. And the movies we watch these days, yeah. like do you understand? So you see, <laughs> yeah. When you come out and say an eighteen years, you're oh come on. They're saying years, they, they're saying wrong. she 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 doesn't have any experience. She doesn't have the exposure. She's not mentally. Yeah, but she has to strong. go in to have the experience. Do you understand? Like there has to be a start. Can I not be the start? The thing is, it's a personal thing. Let me know. Bring. Everything is bullying. Like nah, there will be not. a power, a power disparity. Like somebody will be, like if she's eighteen and she's dating an eighteen-year-old guy, let them go through the experience together. But once you're thirty, that's like you taking advantage of the. And I'm like, are you, are you kidding it's a, me? It's a personal thing because I mean, if you want to look way back at um, the times of our parents, they married at eighteen. Yes, I mean, my mom was eighteen when she got married. Oh, where have you been that... all my life? <laughs> <laughs> In the air. Alrighty. So, um, let's go back to what we're talking yeah, about. Let's go. Jimmy and yeah. I really stand with what she says. And I feel like ladies should try to respect themselves more. If you've seen your man doing something that you don't like or with some girl, 
approach him, talk to him about it. Don't go about chasing the other woman. She's not the problem. Your husband is the problem. Your boyfriend is the problem. Some people would say, oh, I don't even know when people say that thing, what they actually think. They say, um, he's told her not to call, her, call him again, uh, but he, she's still calling him. So that's why I had to approach her. Is the money, baby? Mm. Wow. But some girls, child, they will slide in your DM or... Hmm, if you want, if, 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 if somebody should they'll, slide they'll into my DM, case. if I want to answer you, I'll answer you. If I don't want to answer you, I'll not answer you. So when people give me that flimsy excuse, I just tell the person, come off it now. What's this? Uh -uh. Why are you telling She's me? Come off it. Yes, now. Why are you telling me? <laughs> Alrighty, you said Alrighty. You this is still coming. Please, please, please. Alrighty, so my brothers, eh? when they slide in your DM, tell them, come off it. <laughs> eh? Alright, so we'll be playing again. Like I said, we'll be getting to know Emerald a little bit you know better and um mm. it's a game of never have i ever and yes you already know we like to play that game on this set so we'll be playing this with emerald and then yes we'll be playing it together so never have i ever cheated on someone you go first i have you have yes okay tell us how when <laughs> how did it happen okay that, it's actually um okay let me say it was while i was in school Mm. I was dating, but I found out that the person I was dating was such a liar. Mm. And I had seen that, okay, this isn't going where I wanted, so mm. I, I can just play around a little. And mm. yeah, that was it. Was it fun while it lasted? Yeah, it was fun because the person was a liar. Okay. But I didn't really feel like I was hurting someone. Mm. Yeah. Did he find out though? No, he did not. He never did. Still, you girls. Still he won't. In my mind, always catch us because I have to. Excuse and me. Yes, the oh, first girl, please. the first girl I ever loved, like the first true love. I lost her because I cheated, and I lied about cheating for three straight years. You wow. understand? Like she, she actually caught me because she came to my apartment, saw a girl in my t-shirt. You right? Naked, obviously, just wearing my T-shirt. So some, you know, extra clothes on my bed and stuff. And I denied it. I said, no, she can't see my friend. She said, she can't see your friend and she's wearing your clothes. Do you understand? Uh, for three so years. For three solid years, I lied. And by, and by the time I decided to speak the truth, it was too late. And she's married now. Why would you lie for three years? Because I thought if I said the truth, I would lose her. Not knowing that the lie was what was going to make me lose, lose her. her. And she told me after I told her the truth that all she just wanted to hear was the truth. Exactly. Like she wasn't even so mad at me. Like she, she knew that was going to happen. That she, all she needed was just the truth. And yeah, I really kind of regret it. But yeah, she's married now and I'm happy for her, you know. Hmm. Three years. Three long I'll keep years. that in my head. <laughs> <laughs> we dated for four years. I lied for three years. <sighs> seven years. <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> you know. You are such a liar. They yeah. should play that song for you. Which song? Why are you hurting lying? You uh, lie. lie. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Never have I slept with my ex. Hmm. Go on. Nah. You've never slept with your ex? Nah. Huh. I'm a devil. I have. I've slept with my exes. He's showing on your face. I've slept I with my see. not my ex. I've slept with my exes. <laughs> <laughs> I've slept with my exes. Okay. I'm not even gonna lie about that. Never have I ever stolen from someone. Do mm. my parents count for someone? Yeah. Yeah, my parents. I don't steal, stolen. but I steal from. Eh? I did. I did see if my parents steady. <laughs> I, I've never <laughs> really stolen from right. my parents. The last time we played this game, why did you do this? Because she chose the never have I questions. Mm. The last time they said, uh, "Tell us, if, have you never have I ever stolen from my parents?" I got a call from my mom at about ten p.m. <laughs> well done, no confession. <laughs> no, no. She said, "Well done, no." So you are stealing all those things, Abby. My dad was in the background shouting, confession, confession. <laughs> I'm like, it's my best right, mom. She said, I said it's your best right on national TV. <laughs> but man, hey, look at me now, mama. <laughs> All right, so how nah, about you? Nah, I've never stolen from my parents. Never. How about someone else? Someone else. Maybe my boyfriend. But I don't know if that's stealing because I just took the money from the purse. Uh, yeah. So they take the money with, with his consent or without his <laughs> He's consent? He's not aware I took the money. How much money? And he never asked. <laughs> how much money? I don't know how much. Like, money. In Naira or in dollars or in pounds? In pounds. Hey! <laughs> go on. Big money like that. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> how did they say? Onyara. <laughs> Onyara. <laughs> don't swear my language. <laughs> what's Onyara? Is it? Is it? Is it Mad a... pressing. Oh, sorry, sorry. Apologies. Uh, what's her thief, Enable? Onyoshi. 
Oh, you she. Oh, you. Hey, they say, oh, do you know? Oh, be kiki, kiki, oh, be oh, yeah, oh, be oh, you she. Oh, yeah. So that's how I know that song. So my apologies, mm, not on Yara, on Yoshi. Yeah, she's on Yoshi. Yes. So <laughs> never have I gone on a date just to make someone else jealous. I have. I do that all the time. I yeah. have. I do that all the time. <laughs> Matter of fact, I just talk to some random girls because I just want my girlfriend to be jealous. Hmm. You know, that can actually lead to How do you know, real thing? problems sometimes. How? Like, no, I used to do that back in the days. I don't think I'll do that now. When I was younger. Okay. Yeah. I've done that before, though. I've done that. I went on a date. And then, oh, then yeah? I made a video with the person. Mm, and it's not, sometimes you won't even be into the person. <laughs> you'll be all mushy mushy. Exactly. You so get like, yeah. Though. I just made a video and I posted, like, where are you? I went on a date. With who? With the person you saw. I said, okay. Things jealous and all, so I've done it before. Mm. I have. Okay, so never have I dated someone over 10 years younger. No, I've never. Never have I. 10 years younger, I thought would be too much now. You guys should calm down. Never have I shoplifted. <laughs> it was <Hi>. a mistake. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh Yoshi, I told you guys, oh Yoshi. Okay, it was a mistake. I didn't do it intentionally. How did it happen then? So I and my cousin, we had gone into this um, mall to buy mm. um, snacks. Mm -hmm. So we got, I, we got meat pie and we started eating it there already. Mm. So while we were paying, we forgot that we have eaten one, like each one, one. And that was it. We came out and then after we got home, we was like, do you know we know people the first one? I was like, yeah. Okay, no, that happens so, all the time. I've, I that, didn't do it have you ever been to a restaurant and then you eat and you sneak out? Nah, I've never done that. Ah, uh, no, you're not adventurous, man. Sometimes you just do it for the huh. F of it. You did it beat you, eh? <laughs> you just do it. No, no, no. You way back place, now. Beat you you not deli, go to police station deli, Deliquency. I don't think I'll do that now. Mm. You get But of course, we've done all of that now. Nah, I've never done, done that. So shoplifting. Hmm. Let me think. I'm sure you've done it. No, let me think. Like, it has to be petty, like lollipop, you know? Things that, even if they catch you, they'll just be like, mm, you get So well, it has have... to be, or, or maybe, yeah, I think that has happened to me too. I went to a store. I think that even happened like recently. So I went into a store. I got a drink. Mm -hmm. I like a particular type of drink, right? So I, I went into the store, I took the drink, I bought it, I drank it. And then when they were counting my bill, they did not have it to the bill. Oh, Do you understand? Yeah. Because I bought another one. I think it happens yeah, a lot. So yeah, that happens a lot. So I, I won't call that shoplifting. But anyways, we gotta go, we gotta go. Thank you so much, Emerald. It's been amazing having this chat with you. It's a wrap. Thank you for watching. Join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on our previous episodes, including this one. And all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Outer TV and in London on Ben Television. A big thank you goes out to my co anchor, Emmy Brown. Drum rolls for you, darling. And yes, thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Ife Oshunkeye.